So I've already kind of started on this one, um, but let's take a look at what's going on. So we need to write a, f a function for the graph below, and we see that it's two linear pieces, which is why it's going to be piecewise, which is what allowed us to eliminate B and E. So where I left off is I was starting to find the slope here between, I identified a couple of points, 0, 2, and 5, 7. So I have 7 minus 2 over 5 minus 0 which is 5 over 5 or 1 so the linear piece is gonna be mo this piece here is modeled by y equals x plus 2 this piece here, no, it's, notice it's horizontal at 7 so it's gonna be modeled by y equals 7 so it's just a constant function so putting these two together uh, it's gonna be x plus 2 and 7 and the only other thing we have to do is identify what parts of the domain so the x plus 2 goes from 0 to 5. So um, that actually works for a, b, a, c, and d. But notice that a is 0 here. That means the graph would have been down here. So that can be eliminated. Now 7, and this is interesting, notice there's a closed circle here. So 7 only goes from 5 to right here, which is 8. And then the graph ends. So here, the problem with c is the graph would need to keep on going in this direction. So it's not C, but actually D, because D does end at 8. It says, hey, it's just 7 from 5 to 8.